Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and uh, we are going to be talking to you here on Patreon about um, multiple issues uh, that are, are very disturbing, and uh, some of this is very graphic in description. Um, I kind of said that the other day when I did a news broadcast about Israel, some things I was going to be releasing on um, information that was shared with me from from Israeli intelligence. And, and, and I will say this for those of you that are watching here on Patreon, uh, there is some more uh, information that has surfaced coming from uh, former Israeli hostages that does bring into question whether or not the information I got from Israeli intelligence is actually true or not. Uh, it, it does raise a lot of questions as far as propaganda. But going back uh, to this issue here, we'll, we'll talk about that in a different broadcast. Um, I want to share this information with you here. Uh, we're going to be talking about CERN. Uh, I, I, this weekend, I spoke to a couple of different people uh, that I know. Um, I, I'm not going to mention names here, but uh, these are people that, that have had direct knowledge of the Hydrant Collider. Um, uh, the, the purpose for this collider, what, what it's doing, you know, and you guys know my hypothesis. Uh, I do believe that the opening of the bottomless pit or Abaddon, uh, is done with the Hydrant Collider. It is what is allowing, uh, for these demonic entities to come into our world. And this has been confirmed by two different sources that I have, uh, that indeed, the Hydrant Collider, it opens up a portal. It allows entities into this dimension, uh, some of those not very pleasant at all. Um, we have that type of information. This video here, I'm going to play a little clip for you, about a minute and a half or so, maybe two minutes, where they talk about that. They talk about uh, almost like Mandela effect, uh, to where it seems like things have changed as a result of these colliders. Uh, by the way, the Chinese are building one even as we speak here. And there is more than just the one in uh, France and Switzerland there. There's uh, two here in the United States. There's one in Antarctica. Uh, they're, they're everywhere, and they're not even telling you this. In fact, I actually read today uh, the lost diary of uh, Admiral Byrd, what an eye opener as he speaks about flying over the Arctic uh, Circle there, only to find out as he comes over this mountain range, temperature changes to about 70 something degrees. Uh, you know, he's talking about seeing vegetation, a place where it should be only snow and ice, and, uh, and of course, an opening in the earth like never seen before. Uh, I've heard these things for long periods of time now, and uh, this is what we're going to be seeing more and more as this, as this comes up. They're going to say that we're pretty much going to take ourselves into oblivion uh, by what we're doing. So I, I'm going to take and um, uh, quickly I want to uh, go into some things here and, uh, and, and uh, uh, share with you this video right here and then uh, we're going to get a little deeper into these things here so let's take a look at this video here your ground between the borders of france and switzerland at cern the large hadron collider is the world's most powerful particle accelerator the giant donut shaped collider uses superconducting magnets and beams of protons to smash known particles together at extremely high energies and now, after a three-year-long gap, it has Astrid been turned back on. Light. Now that the LHC is officially up and running, it's already breaking records for the highest energy particle collisions ever performed. It's all pretty exciting, with the teams involved searching for more information on the God particle, the Higgs boson, and signs of dark matter, antimatter, and more. It's no doubt that these new upgrades at the Collider are now set to bring forth discovering revelations that could alter our understanding of physics forever. But some new photos from June, when it was switched back now have emerged. 
and people are worried that this might finally be the proof that CERN has transported us to a different dimension. These incredible photos taken above CERN's Large Hadron Collider have sparked new conspiracy theories and fears that portals are opening up. The images appear to have been taken on June 24, the same day CERN scientists started the new WAKE experiment. Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. The CERN LHC being switched back on has given way to some very concerning and some very bizarre theories. And this image is now the biggest concern of them all, especially for the conspiracy theorists. In the past, CERN has conducted experiments to create artificial clouds to better understand global warming. This year has seen a variety of extreme climate disasters, from flooding in Pakistan to wildfires across Europe. The There's a lot more that we could say about CERN. I wanted to just kind of give you an idea of what even we can see publicly about it, about these different dimensions that are opening up. And of course, you know, we're also talking about uh, the passing of Planet X. And, uh, and, and besides the passing of Planet X, in fact, this is a very interesting um, uh, video right here about Nibiru uh, from the Extreme Mysteries channel here. They have over a million subscribers. Uh, Aliens in Nibiru, the story of the original Planet X. We're going to go into that. <laughs> and oddly enough, I'm going to actually go into the elite families and this reptilian agenda uh, because it all plays in together. I'm going to sh share with that with you there. going to also share uh, some of the clip here um, uh, about, let me find the, the right clip on this. Here we go, right here. This here, Gabriela Rico uh, uh, Jimenez, the supermodel that had a history that suddenly doesn't have a history because she came out and expose the Illuminati for eating children, sacrificial children there, uh, and you know how that uh, she has seen Queen Elizabeth do the same. Uh, the reptilians, and I spoke with one individual today or yesterday, who's actually been at those very type of Illuminati meetings, and uh, he has said to me that it is true that they are reptilian. Uh, he said he has seen them shapeshift. He said, yes, they eat human flesh. He said, in fact, it made him so sick, he wanted to take his weapon and kill everyone in the room. Um, but he said he also knew and had a fear of the individuals that he was dealing with there, knowing that they were shapeshifters and that they had very unusual abilities. Uh, and the fact that they would actually eat these human beings where it's just beyond anything you could ever imagine. Uh, there, there's re All these things are connected, friends. They're all connected. Uh, the passing of Nibiru, knowing that Nibiru is, is soon approaching. And one thing that both men said to me, and that is what's coming with this system is nothing short of terrifying. Uh, that there will be entities that come from this, the likes that you have never seen before. Uh, entities that will make giants that we think are giants look like grasshoppers themselves. Um, I've heard this for a long time, that the uh, it is a form of reptilian on this planet. But at the same time, the other thing that keeps coming to my mind is that how do they get this system uh, visible to the rest of the world. I think it has to do with the, the, the manipulating of CERN, the Hadron Collider. And oddly enough, that is one of the things that I have heard from both these men, that it is the Hadron Collider that helps to bring this about, also causes, uh, as we... Uh, one one gentleman said to me, it is a mingling of dimensions. He says the expression that he often heard, uh, and he's been in Dulce, he's been in these these elite circles, these elite meetings there. He was used uh, uh, as a security force uh, uh, there. And of course, he said at the time, he said, I was not a believer. He said so, but he said, he said, yet it is terrifying 
uh, some of the entities that he has seen in his life. He said, to, to this day, he said, I still have PTSD as a result of what I have seen, these creatures that I have seen. And he said, there's no way you will ever be able to be ready for what it is when it comes. And uh, and he told me that as they use the, the Hadron Collider more and more and more, it will cause these dimensions to intermingle with one another. Uh, another gentleman was saying to me that they would take and uh, he said they believe that they can actually shut the dimensions down with the Hadron Collider. He said, but yet there's no proof of that really being done. He said, and the thing is, is there are such terrifying images uh, that can be seen as a result of this that uh, the, the human mind will never be able to comprehend it. And the fears that it will create in, in mankind are beyond anything you could ever even imagine. So uh, these are some of the things that that uh, that I was that I was hearing about, and one of the reasons why I wanted to play for you that clip there about the Hadron Collider there, just to show you how that even they're talking about the Mandela effect. Uh, we've already crossed into other things, come back, and it seems like time is different. Things are different than what you knew in your mind. Uh, so how many of us are being taken across the veil and we don't even realize it? And as I said to you, you know. As you can see here, Queen Elizabeth's ancestors exposed as reptilian. Um, you know, there's all kinds of videos out there about things like this, but I was assured that most world leaders are reptilian descent one way or the other. This is the reason why there's control on this planet. Now, I want to play for you, though, here, Gabriela Rico Jimenez, and what she was saying here uh, when she was at an Illuminati meeting uh, she got arrested, thrown in prison, and she got out, she came back, and she was screaming outside this hotel. I want you to see this, and then also hear what an attorney that was at the prison when she was hauled off, uh, what he witnessed firsthand as well. Listen to this. I should say, <laughs> rather than, well, well, I want you to read it is what it is. I'm going to let her voice play not too loud because she's screaming over there about what she saw and what happened there. This was a famous Spanish model you knew everything, who was invited to an says. Illuminati party. Come over here, you Vernon. The Queen of Scotland. Listen. And the Queen of England. They killed a lot of people. Death, the class of humans. Get out of here. They ate humans. That was disgusting. They ate humans. I didn't know anything. I mean, uh, uh, of the assassinations, yes, but they ate humans. Humans. Humans smell like meat. You're not taking me anywhere until we clear all this up. You people had me there so you could make a copy of me that I, and, and let me go. It's pretty weird, right? Very strange indeed. Now I want to play for you. When she was taken to the jail, there happened to be an attorney there that heard all this commotion going on, and this is what was recorded in English about what he said about it. Someone claiming to have seen the supermodel at the local police station. The man, who was a lawyer visiting a client at the time, had this to say, translated from Spanish. Quote, at the time, I was in the same place where the girl was taken after being arrested. I was doing my practice in that place. I have a law degree. I still remember her face full of despair, fear, anguish. Being in front of her, I felt from her a very heavy and strange feeling. I approached her and asked her some questions, if she knew where she lived, etc. She told me that we were all already dead, that we all were, that we belonged to them among other very strange things that simply left me paralyzed. After 20 minutes of being with her, some tall, well-dressed guys arrived. They practically forced me out of there. I asked why they were doing all of this if she was just a poor girl with a mental disorder. I asked where they were taking her. They told me that it was none of my business, that it was for my own good to leave her. When I walked away, they stopped me and asked me what she had told me. I only replied crazy things and ran away. The next day, I went to the high officials of the ministry 
and told them about the subject and that I wanted information because the girl's family requested it. They just laughed and said, really? She doesn't exist. She never existed. And you don't work here. I got a chill and left. I left everything and I left Monterrey. I had a feeling that what happened those days and what that girl said were true. As I was able, I left everything and got out of there. She told me that in Monterrey, there is a kind of underground base where they live and regularly steal children for food and other things. Due to my profession, I do not dare to reveal my encounter. I have family and children who depend on me, and for logical and reputational reasons, I can't. I'd like to go out and spread it to the four winds, but society would label me crazy. That's exactly right. They would label him crazy for even suggesting it. But the thing is, the whole cold hard fact truth about what he's saying in that region of the world is very true. Same thing in Los Angeles. There is a huge uh, underground reptilian society there as well. And many of the homeless go missing as a result of becoming food on their tables. You know, as I was talking with uh, one of these uh, friends of mine there, uh, which he'll be coming on later in the week here to discuss some of this with you. He said to me that, you know, they talk about the depopulation of the world. He said, but you know, that's a danger for most of us. He said, not just because of depopulating us. He said, but those that are left, he said, you'd become more of a target of their food supply need. He said, because regardless, they still need a food chain and humans are part of their f food chain. And he said, it goes on far more often than you could ever imagine. I've been told about this before, years ago, by other intel that I had, that one of the reasons why you see so many people that are missing and they can never figure out what happened to them, it's because of that very issue right there. They're taken underground and become food for these entities that prefer human flesh. Just like many humans prefer animals, whether it be chicken, pig, turkey, cow, whatever the case may be, well, we are also on a menu as well. But it's a different menu than what you would probably anticipate. So as crazy as all this sounds, then, like I said, the biggest event that's coming now, right now, is this binary system. And my opinion is, is that they're using the Hadron Collider to bring it in. It travels within the ether. And when it travels within the ether, it's between dimensions. And I think that the only thing that they can do to bring it through in order for these entities to be able to come to planet Earth is to open up a portal for them to do so. And I think that's why we have the technolo technology of the Hadron Collider is to be able to do just that. And once we do it, it'll be to our own demise. You know, I read today... Admiral Byrd's Lost Diary, very, very small book. All it is is just his diary notes of when he did the flight in 1947 to the Arctic Circle. And when he described in there what he came to as he crossed over these mountains after passing all these icy caps, crossing over the mountains and suddenly seeing vegetation in a place where there should be no vegetation, and then being brought in, his plane losing power and everything, being brought in by some type of technology that was so advanced. And then meeting with this master, as he called him, that spoke about mankind getting a hold of atomic energy and how that that would be the demise of the entire world. And that the world was not listening to what they were doing. It reminds me of the many times that I've shared with you from the intel I used to get from Washington about how that this whole um, issue of nuclear weapons is a concern of these fallen entities, these fallen angels as I call them. Because why the explosions affect multiple dimensions, not just ours, but theirs as well. And therefore, that's another reason why they don't want us using these types of weapons, not even for test purposes. 
But here we are, once again, on the verge of a nuclear war. And as a result, what's going to be coming our way? Seems like every time that this Nibiru planet comes through, man's technology reaches its highest pinnacle possible. But then we use it for the destruction and the demise of our own selves. I don't know what to think about it personally, but I do know this. Some crazy times are definitely ahead. The EMP shield is so important like never before as well. And I know that this is here on our Patreon channel, but I'll just share with you guys as well. Um, the EMP shield. Consider it. I don't know how much it's going to help when it comes to a binary system. Uh, but I do know that even now that the uh, uh, speaking to Matthew, that they are already too putting out, uh, they have a new product coming up. And uh, I've got to get involved with them to learn more about this. I need to finish putting together that documentary. I've promised it over and over and over and over. And I, I, honestly, friends, if you had any idea what goes on behind the scenes here, the attacks and everything else that happened, you'd understand why we've not been able to get that out. It is a major undertaking to put this film together. Uh, and it's very valuable information that they shared with us uh, that we would like to get into your hands so you know how important this system is. Uh, but they have a grid down uh, system that they're coming out with. I don't know. I haven't looked into it as of yet, but I do need to follow up with them on that. I, I don't see that word here anywhere, uh, but I will be trying to find out that. Maybe I can add that to this film I'm putting together. And hopefully, by the grace of God, pray for me that I can get that film out this week. We are really running out of time. A lot of things are going to be changing I'm also hearing about, uh, we're going to have more meteorite showers here in December. We had a lot in November. I haven't really spoke about those things. I don't want to create panic or anything like that. Uh, I know that there have been some that have been saying that Planet X will be visible uh, going into next year. Uh, I did check to see if that is so. Uh, I have heard that there is some uh, very interesting anomalies that are going to be happening as a result. That is one of the possibilities. Uh, however, I uh, have not been able to find out anything about dates. I know they said that Mike from around the world was planning on announcing dates. Uh, but, you know, sometimes the things that he speaks about that are going to happen a certain time don't happen at that certain time. I I've had the same issue. That's one of the reasons why I've pulled back. I get information a lot of times, and sometimes I just don't share it because I'm just not convinced. Uh, so I'm, a, I'm very cautious because I realize that what I say to you, you take to heart, and I want to be as honest and forthright as I possibly can be. So that way, when there really is a very serious situation, I can warn you to the best of my ability uh, and it will be at a time where it is the most important. Uh, we are at a time of wars and rumors of wars. I know there is a deployment right now of 2,000 Air Force, uh, military Air Force departing in the morning, 6 a.m., undisclosed location. Uh, when you're dealing with the Air Force, it lets me know they're getting ready to possibly do some attacks maybe on uh, over in Yemen against the Houthi rebels. Well, I know there was, we have one of our ships under attack over there. So a lot is happening all over the world there. Uh, by the way, though, too, too and, I, and I didn't, I'm so bad about not mentioning this. If you get a EMP shield, just remember to save money. I want you to be able to save money. You add that to your cart. Uh, it's going to ask you for that coupon code, the INL50. Israeli News Live INL50 is what you want to put on there. Make sure it's big enough so you can see that on there. See INL50. Apply that coupon code. They will take $50 off. No matter how many products you buy, if you buy one, if you buy 20, every single one is going to get a $50 off. Uh, that's what the company does for you. And for us, they give us a percentage there because you purchase through uh, using our code there. So we greatly appreciate it. It helps us a little bit as well each month. Uh, and so we thank you for your order. And, uh, and, and, and I wouldn't promote it if I didn't really believe that it is something that's very valuable and helpful for you in the first place. That's I think, is the most important thing I can say about it. Uh, I believe in it. 
and um, and I know too we're getting into the X39. Uh, we have actually created my wife created a YouTube channel specifically for the X39 and the videos we're making there. I don't want to be putting those all over here on Israeli News Live or Patreon either one. Uh, but uh, from time to time we will share information about that. And as we get more testimonies about what that product is doing to where we can feel more confident even about that product, I will share that with you. Other than that, I'm not a salesman, only if it's something that I really feel strongly about that I think can benefit you. Uh, and we did have a Zoom meeting today with, gosh, I don't know, it looked like about 60 people that came on uh, to want to know more about that product there. And it was really a blessing to see so many and I really enjoyed it too just to see you guys uh, and my wife has been after me about doing a zoom call for prayer uh, to pray for people that need serious sincere prayer uh, so I, that is something we need to do as well and uh, in fact I made public the video that I shared with you guys the other day about faith uh, so if you haven't seen that video as of yet please watch it please watch it I think it'll really help so many people because uh, so many people are hurting and need uh, prayer there and there's one sister really on my heart too that we saw in the meeting there that uh, that I'm wanting to pray for anyway God bless you thank you for listening Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live don't forget Yana's channel Odyssey uh, Israeli News Live on Odyssey there uh, she's always, uh, you know, uh, she does, I mean, she tries to do things weekly. Oop, I'm on the wrong website, IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website there. Let me let me pull this up real quick, uh, her channel there. I want to just mention it to you too, though, because her and Sister Elizabeth sometimes also, um, uh, they do some videos together over on her channel. And uh, and really, Yana's got a lot of good responses from some of those videos that they did there. Uh, so you might really want to check that out. Uh, sister Elizabeth, who uh, helps us out in the ministry here, what a really precious sister she is. And uh, and she has a channel, too, over on um, iConnectFX.com. And hers is Faith. I think it's faith, something like that. I've shared it with you before. We'll share it again later. Anyway, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Benoon.